Hey yo guys, what is up? It's Daniel back here with another episode of Minecraft Let's Play. So in today's episode, we'll be doing a little project and I would like to call it a vault. So it's going to be basically an area where I store some really valuable stuff like maybe the Neverite upgrade, some Neverite, some diamonds, emeralds and whatnot. And it's going to be located in between the map room and the sorting system. So let us go there real quick and we shall see where we're going to build it. So we are going to the map room right here. This, if you remember this from the last episode and then we're gonna go through our 4x4 piston door right here and go down this linkway tunnel oh my goodness it's gonna take a while i probably need to restock on fireworks as well and then if we fly ouch 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 as you can see i have decorated this half to be matching the sorting system because well everything is black concrete in here it'll be weird to just transition from something else to black concrete and well the transition point is just that thing over there the river and over here as you can see it's a piston door of another 4x4 piston door and this is where the vault is gonna be this is gonna be the first part of the vault so it's gonna, it's gonna be something like a library so people won't really be able to tell it's a vault until well they, they test it out so if you actually the interesting thing is if you turn on the shaders you actually can't tell that there's a vault door there like it's super hard to tell because everything's black concrete and everything's bright but the one of the ways you activate this is basically through a skulk sensor and you just need to change your armor or dismount a mob which there isn't really a mob here to dismount but if you change your armor real quick as you can see it activates the skulk sensors which activates the piston door and from here onwards it's gonna be a library which will transport us to a pin system which will eventually bring us to the vault so now let's get out of here I'm going to go back home and I will show you guys what the vault looks like in a separate single player world where I designed it. So I'll see you guys once I head back home and go into that single player world. Alright guys, so as you can see we're currently in a single player world. Now this is the design that I'm, I am going to use for the vault but this was the initial design. As you can see this is where the entrance was for the 4x4 piston door and then it basically just enter here and in this case I think I throw the item here and this part under me will give away. Yeah, there you go. But if it's the wrong item, you'll die, obviously. And the vault will be down here. There'll be a password system down here, which eventually opens the door. As you can see right now. Well, it doesn't work now, I guess. Well, but yeah. Anyway, this was the first design. I was just I just wanted to put everything together to make sure it works. And I did not like how this looks, so I ended up designing it again. And this time I had a kill chamber down here, which will kill hopefully almost all the players. And there's also hopper minecarts below, which will transfer all the items that the date player gives me into the vault room. So if you ever mess around in here, you'll find out. You, you, you'll lose everything. And yeah, you probably have to contact server admins if you want to get the items back. And if you do, you, you, you expose yourself. You just expose yourself to try to break into the vault. Anyway, all these concrete blocks are just for measurements and this is basically how it works. So as you can see right now, it's a library. The bookshelves aren't filled yet because, well, it's it's a copy world. Well, I ain't gonna spend that effort to fill those bookshelves up. And then we have the same password system here. So again, there's a password. I did not... I do not have the current password with me right now, but I'm just gonna drop some random item right in front of me like this. It gets picked up. I will drop. If it's the wrong password, it will send me to a kill chamber down there. That kills me and collects my items if not it'll just drop you down here and you open this door it brings you down into the passcode system now in this passcode system just input the right passcode like so and then the piston door should open like that we can reset this because it's not a problem anymore and as you can see once the door opens we can close this back and now we are in the vault so this is the password recovery chest. So whatever you throw down there, be it the right password or not, it'll be collected inside this chest. And any players that die, their items will be inside this chest, the dead man's loot. Now, on level of one, we have items that are available. So I will consider them a bit hard to get in survival, aside from emeralds. So we have the wither head, wither skeleton head. We have the never star. We have the beacons. We have hard to see and whatnot. And all of these items over here. And on the second level, we have enchantments. So these are going to be full enchants for the armor. So for example, for the chest plates, there's like four enchants. For the leggings, there's a few more. For the sword, there's a ton of enchants, but this one has no knockback. 
this one will have knockback. So there, there will just be books in here and there's anvils for you to do whatever you want with it. And at the end, it's just some mending plus unbreaking books. So you can enchant stuff like, I don't know, shears or you can enchant the shields and whatnot. And once you're done, you can just go in here, go warp this little soul sand value thing, throttle your way through this little tiny area, step on this, go through the piston door, and then just trigger this, trap doors, and you're right at the library again. As you can see, that's a little hidden trap door right behind here. You would never notice anyway, even if you open it, it just looks empty as if there's nothing there, but it just looks kind of suspicious, so... Regardless, you can't really break into that place because of Obsidian. There's also going to be a Elder Guardian down there, which I will place right around here in this little box to have a mining fatigue effect so that nobody will be in the right mind to mine through two layers of Obsidian with mining fatigue free. Like, no one would do that. But yeah, this is basically how the vault works, and I will attempt to build this in, a, in the server alone in a couple of hours, so we shall see how that goes. Well, maybe not a couple of hours, I don't know whether I can complete this today, but well, we shall see. Alright guys, so we are back in the server and we will head straight to digging out the area. Now, I have a set area that I would dig out that I have on Discord somewhere, so I just have to dig out that certain specific area and it should be okay to build most of the stuff in there, so I just, I'm just gonna go straight there. I'm gonna start digging and you guys are gonna have a, an amazing time lapse. I don't think I can use replay mod because it's gonna look super ugly with me going through walls and whatnot. So it's just probably just gonna be for my POV. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys after I've done all the digging. Alright guys, we are back. Now, I initially want- Did I just break? Okay. I initially just wanted to uh, dig out everything first and then like build it. But we came across a little bit of a problem here. We kind of dug into a river. And I shouldn't be surprised because yeah, I do know the river is pretty close by. And yeah, so pretty much there's a ton of water. There's an aquifer here as well. I might have to remove the water from the aquifer. Or I don't really need to. I could just like scaffold my way on top and like get the sailing done first but yeah regardless we as you can see all the chocolate boxes here these are not the dope materials these are just the stuff i got from digging so as you can see we have an absolute crap ton of stone it still goes yep okay uh this is our gravel this is all the endocytes diorites granites i sorted them out so that all the full chocolate boxes i can just put it straight into the freaking chest instead of just throwing it into the chocolate unloader because that would be really slow to unload and we got some ores as well, we got about a shulker box of iron ore. We didn't get much lapis, we only got like two stacks. We have a ton of coal and let's not talk about copper. Let's not talk about copper. But yeah, so I think the game plan now is to kind of just build up this first library segment, which should fit in here. Wait, I'm, I might cause some lag here. Oh wait, did I unload it? Placement on, there we go. Yeah, so this entire section is the library over here. As you can see, it fits really, really nicely, I think. I might have to shift it. Wait, let me get my stick. Get my stick. Okay, we might need to shift it inwards. So, by two blocks, right? Oh, uh, why am I not moving? Do I have to select it? There we go, okay. Shift in by two blocks, so it should look like this. That's the entrance. And yeah, everything looks like it's in place for now. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, that hurts, that hurts. Yeah, so this entire stretch that you see right here is the part that's underwater. So I might have to fix that. Let me remove this real quick so it's not so trippy. But yeah, I probably have to uh, fix this room up first and then we'll think about that somehow. So I'll jump to a cut. Building this thing should be pretty dang simple because there's not much redstone. I'll probably suffer with the redstone below. There isn't really much redstone in the library at all. So I'm gonna go get the materials and then I'm gonna cut to where I have built this thing. So I'll see you guys once I've done that. Oh. 
Of course I will. Oh my goodness, not the redstone. Alright guys, so we are right now with our items. Now, I already built the room, so some of the items are gone. As you can see, all of our deep slate is pretty much gone except for these two deep slate blocks. And of course, we have blocks of Neverite. And we still have plenty of items. We didn't use the glass at all because the glass is for redstone and the water transportation system. And obviously, we didn't use any of the redstone at all. And the obsidian is not even used at all. So right now, everything is pretty much done in this room. And for the door here, I pretty much just removed the redstone torch, so it's going to be open till I say it's done. And right now, the only thing I have to do, I guess, would be to fill up these bookshelves with books. And I don't know, probably I'll make book and quill, sign it up, and I don't know, get ChatGP to write something? Who knows? But all I know is I ain't going to leave these bookshelves empty. I'll probably have a category for each one of them. I'll just get some books. Uh, I just need probably feathers and uh, books as well. And that should be it for this part of the project. So this is going to be Vault Project Part 1. It's pretty much just the library. And then the Part 2 would be building this and the death chamber. So the part with the piston door that opens goes to the pin coat thing as well as the death chamber. And the death chamber is probably going to be pretty interesting to build on its own. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But I think that should be it for today's episode. I do not want it to be too long. This project is pretty huge and I thought honestly I could complete it in one day but this is all I could manage. It's I've been digging for the entire freaking day. It's like what time is it around? It's 1.30 a.m. I've been working for god knows how long. I don't even know I've been sitting on this chair till my ass starts to hurt. But yeah, this looks pretty good. Honestly, I think I can close this up right now. Uh, we shall see. Should I actually close it up? Maybe I should. Let's get our redstone torch here. I'll just borrow it from this one. I have no idea where my other is not torch when. Just get this. Just a temporary block. Now we go to the back. We put the redstone torch here. That will activate the pistons. And we exit through here real quick. Up, break this block. We might not be able to get it back, but it's fine. I broke the freaking. God damn it. This is a disaster. Okay, let's place this back and not accidentally break that. I forgot I had haste on, which apparently breaks anything and everything. There you go. Okay, I don't really care about that piece of stone. Just switch armor real quick. Uh, get. What was I gonna get? The deep slate. Deep slate. The deep slate. Like that. Change my armor real quick. And then just do the fun touches right here and boom, it's closed. So I don't think I need to touch the piston door anymore. Probably in the next episode, I would probably just lock it open again because, well, I ain't gonna open and close it every time I dig something, right? It's gonna be super annoying. But yeah, that should be it for today's episode. That would be all for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please do drop a like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. And as usual guys, leave some comments if you have any suggestions. And with that being said, thanks for watching and peace out.